Simon Ekpa, Nigeria's enemies, sponsoring protests and destruction. Adamu Gaba speaks concerning the protests happening in the Zoological Republic of Nigeria. It is no more Peter Obi. It is now the Prime Minister Simon Ekpa. <laughs> According to them, that is now sponsoring their so-called protests. Before I go into analysis, let us hear the news in detail. But meanwhile, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wonderful people, lovers of freedom all over the world. Wherever you're joining us from today, you're highly welcome to this wonderful YouTube platform that gives you quality news, quality information on all the activities happening in Biafran territory. If you are joining us for the first time, you are highly welcome. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and make sure, make sure you turn on your notification because um, we will be notifying you asaply whenever we drop our spanking news. Now, let us go to the news in details. A former All Progressive Congress APC presidential aspirant, Adamu Gaba, has said Nigerian enemies like the Prime Minister Simon Ekpa are behind the protests against President Bola Ahmed Tunubu's um, administration. Gaba claimed that people like Simon Ekpa contracted some influencers to cause destruction in Nigeria. He alleged that they contracted some northern influencers to exploit the current economic hardship against Tinumbu's administration. We continue with the news. Posting on S, Gaba wrote, the real sponsors of these rioters, not genuine protesters, are sworn Nigerian enemies, someone like At. Simon Ekpa, who's taking sanctuary in a foreign land, yet ordering and command, commanding the destruction of his fatherland. There is no greater illegitimacy in bed and in roots than these, he said. He went further to say in his words, when I told you the North was deceived, I know what I am saying. These guys contracted some northern influencers to assist them in exploiting the current economic hardship against the Tinumbu administration. Coupled with the fact that some angry and envious politicians see these as an opportunity to exert revenge upon the government for their loss, Nigeria needs to review our relationship with Finland if they refuse to package and send this Epa guy to Nigerian authorities for questioning. <sighs> and that is that on the issue, on the news update happening in Biafran land. Now, let us discuss briefly, briefly, because I want you, you know, to go to the comment section and give your own contribution concerning, you know, this matter. The reality here is that the Prime Minister Simon Epa has been accused of everything. <laughs> everything. There is nothing they have not actually accused the Prime Minister Simon Epa of doing. Manke basaraya, manke na basaraya. <laughs> the funniest thing about this accusation actually is, is dumb, though. Initially, it was Peter Obi. They accused. They saw that time the Peter Obi own wasn't working. Now, it is now Prime Minister Simon Ekpa. Was it Simon Ekpa that also told them to fly the russian flag 
Was it Simon Ekpa that told the Northerners to fly the Russian flag? <laughs> hey. The reality is that the country, you know, which has been led or ruled by these corrupt politicians is going down. Not just going down. It is being destroyed by what they cost for themselves. You cannot continue, you know, to, to, to feed on the masses on daily basis and expect them not to rise against you. They will definitely rise. They will definitely rise. And we all know fully well when the masses begin to speak up against injustices, when the masses begin to react against the wickedness be method on them. Then you know that there is problem in the land. I saw some of the videos on S on on S on Twitter, you know, where these masses, these so-called Nigerian masses, you know, hungry protest protesters, who are actually out to make sure. They bring an end to these wicked people. They've penetrated into the houses of these politicians, just as what Kenya did. This is exactly how what Kenya did. They began to attack the politicians. As I'm talking to you, you see all these corrupt politicians are currently running away from Nigeria. Currently, because they are scared. Wicked house. Was attacked. Wicked's private property in Abuja was attacked. The same year, some week, who has massacred a lot of Biafrans. They are no more hiding it now. Him and them, um, this other, if you live, you know, Asali Dokubo, who came out on national television. To speak concerning um, how he massacred innocent protesters, innocent Biafrans, unarmed Biafrans. They started attacking their houses. These people will make sure they burn down that country into ashes because you cannot eat your cake. And have it. Before I go further. Or before I go deep. I'm going to play a video. Of. This. Um, of the last. During the last election. How. You know they've tried. How they've made moves. To bring down the Prime Minister Simon Ekpa. There are so many videos about it, but I'm going to bring a particular one during an interview. Not be today where these people start. Not be today. It is not today. But the reality is that you cannot fight freedom. You cannot fight justice. You cannot fight a man that the land has accepted. That is just the reality. So, no matter how they try to fight the Prime Minister Simon Egba, he just finds a way to defeat them easily without any, you know, any stress. Where did he resort him to? Where did he resort him to? His own words, putting a bounty on the Prime Minister Simon Ekba, the same Simon Ekba. What was the result of that? Okoda. 
Okoda, he was sent into judgment. Kiaga. Agabuzi Onyenka. They are always accusing without fact and without evidence. They are just looking for what you know international communities will use to hold the prime minister. But this is this is actually lame. It is too lame. It is too lame because there are evidences everywhere speaking against these people. You failed to do the needful in your country. Then you're blaming a man who is on fighting and defending his people for the destruction of your country. Then you must be a fool. We will see where this whole thing you know, we end finally. The same Prime Minister Simon Ekpa that they are calling up, talking about, has no business with their with their country. A man who came out openly and denounced the country. He doesn't want to have anything to do with you people, yet you keep on calling him on a daily basis. This is actually just the beginning because, you know, the, the Zoological Republic of Nigeria will see, will see a lot, a lot of crazy things in few months to come. Wait until, you know, Biafra is redeclared, then you will understand, you will understand what you know, it means for a country to go down, to fall down, to burn down. You understand? She will go back, calm down. Waiting go hit you, they come. You know, this one is actually small. When the written go hit you, you go know what's up. But meanwhile, let me play this particular video as a reminder, you know, to every peer friend that they have actually been trying, but at the end, they will definitely fail. Please watch and do not forget to continue to share this video to as many group, to as many platforms as possible. National. Great to see you today. A very warm welcome to you. You've been listening to the story here on RT. I know you know the story. I mean, just briefly, this guy, Simon Ekpa, born in 1985. They say he's a Nigerian Finnish lawyer and a political activist. He's accused of essentially running a separatist movement uh, from his home in Finland. And Nigeria has demanded that Finland take measures against this activist. Why, why does the government see the activist as a threat, Adamu? Because, you know, what, what the activist is building on is something that started since 1966 in Nigeria when we had the first civilian war that is called Biafran War, when some generals in that area decided to want to secede. Then a civil war was ensured, and suddenly there was unity. But most recently, one man that was termed and educated as a terrorist in Nigeria, who is currently serving in Nigerian jail, Mr. Nnam Dikan, started the movement in the name of IPOB, that's indigenous people of Biafra, who actualized the dream of that secession. He was tamed, jailed currently in Nigeria. And suddenly you now have this man who is sitting in Finland, was able to leverage on social media platforms to continue to steer violence and encourage free killings and destruction in that part of the country that have known no peace for so long time. Simon never leverage on social media. He lived in Finland. He paid Finnish tax and do everything well in Finland, happily with his family, while causing trouble and making people here to be killing each other. When that happened again, he will carry the footages of the killings and publish on his social media handles. I mean, but but why... Mr. Garda, but, uh, sorry, I mean, can I just jump in quickly? I mean, do you think this guy, Simon Ekpa, is working alone? Because there are some reports saying that he may have a sponsor, but that claim has not been substantiated. What do you think? I mean, are we talking about a guy on his own 
Or is he getting support from oh, somewhere? There, there's, there, there is no way you will disconnect the wide-ranging network of this Biafra movement across the world. It is there. But one thing that surprises us is the fact that he is living in a self-acclaimed democratic country, a democratic model. Finland and the country that Nigeria have a very strong strategic relationship with them. And this man is threatening to disrupt a democratic process in the coming election that is happening in just seven days from today. He insisted that he will ensure that his activists are armed and they will go to the street, fight, destroy, and stop every other person from going to exercise their freedom of expression and voting. And this is the most democratic practice we have in, in, in Nigeria. In fact, Nigeria is one of the model of Western-style democracy. And this man is living in a Western country, disrupting a Western-style democracy in Nigeria. And the Finnish authority did not do it. Why, 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 why do you think that is, Adam? This, why, 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 do you think, why do you think Finnish authorities have done nothing about this guy, Simon Ekpa, who's essentially trying to run a separatist movement from his home in Finland to affect Nigeria just ahead of your presidential elections. Why is Finland doing nothing? To be very frankly with you, uh, personally, this is my personal view, and I think uh, Western relationship with Nigeria has always been double standard. There has always been double standard. It appears that what Simon Ekpa is doing is either not threatening their interests or is serving their interests. So to that effect, they will fold their arms and let whatever it is that happen. But if they truly care about democracy, as they say, as they release in their press statement, as they want to support Nigeria to ensure that there is free and fair election where all Nigerians are going to vote peacefully, the best solution, the best thing they need to do is to make sure that that guy is apprehended and perhaps submitted down to Nigeria so that he can face the justice of Nigeria, since it is what in Nigeria, not Finland. All right, former Nigerian presidential contender.